Well, good morning, class. Good to see you again. Uh, we're here today to do this problem. And I know what you're saying. You're looking at that problem and you're like, Mr. Miller, that one's got fractions, Mr. Miller. You don't understand. I'm not good at fractions. Well, I'm here to tell you that's not true. You are good at fractions, and we're going to handle this problem. Now, as you know, in math, one of the beautiful things about algebra is that there are like a million ways to do every problem. Not really a million, but there's a lot of ways to do every problem. So I'm not going to show you every way to solve this. I'm just going to show you one way. And the way I'm going to choose is to blow up the fraction. All right? That's going to be our plan. So how do you blow up a fraction, right? How do you do it? Well, uh, let me show you. Let me show you. All you got to do when you have fractions is multiply both sides of the equation by a number that will get rid of the fraction. And the number that will do that is any number that would divide it evenly. Like, for instance, if that's a 5, you want to blow up a 5? Boom. Hollow. Throw a 5 on each side. Is 5 the only number I could have chose? No! I could choose any multiple of 5. For instance, if I list my multiple of 5, you got 5, 10, 15, blah, blah, blah. Any one of those numbers would blow up this fraction. The only reason we generally choose 5 in this case is because it's the smallest. And smaller numbers are easier to multiply. All right, so watch what's going to happen now. I'm going to distribute this 5. Do you see a fraction? Do you see a fraction? Do you see a fraction? You're like, yeah, I still see one. It's right there. All right, all right. Yeah, I see you. I see you. No worries. Okay, that's multiplying both sides by 5. Now look what happens. Do you see a fraction? I don't see no fraction. I don't see no fraction. That fraction's gone. So look. Now, we got ourselves an equation with no fractions. This is money. This I know we can do, so watch me. I'm going to minus 10. Now your 2x is equal to 10. At this point, divide both sides by 2. And you get x is equal to 5. Less than. If you don't like fractions, just blow them up, all right? Okay, uh, let me get you another problem to try. Let me get you another problem to try. All right, let's see here. Let's go, uh, let's go with a 2x minus 3 fifths is equal to 1 half. All right, you should hit pause right now and give this one a shot. Pause. Unpause. All right. Uh, here we go. What? Oh yeah, see? I know what you're thinking now. You're like, Mr. Miller, there's actually two fractions in this one. The last one only had one. This one's got two. But it's all the same. We still are just going to blow up the fractions. Now here, what number will blow up five? We already talked about that. We already talked about the numbers that will blow up five. First one is, of course, five. The other ones are listed there. But think to yourself, what's the problem if I multiply both sides by 5? It doesn't blow up the 2. This fraction would still be there. So let's look at numbers that would actually take out the 2. If you wanted to get rid of the 2, you would just have to multiply it by something that's, that goes evenly uh, from 2. So we got 2, 4... 6, 8, 10, 12. Now, if you're lucky, if it works out, the same number will blow up both fractions. So you say, yo, you don't multiply by 5. In this case, you multiply by 10. All right? So now we distribute the 10. 10 times 2x gives us 20x. 
You see a fraction? You see a fraction? I don't see no fraction. And you say, yo, where's the six? I thought it was a three, Mr. Miller. Wait, what you doing here? What are you trying to tell us? Look, watch this. 10 times 3 over 5. That becomes a 1. That becomes a 2. 2 times 3, there's a 6. Okay? I mean, it's over 1, but then we don't, uh, we don't have to show the 1. So that gives us uh, equals. Uh, 10 over 2 is 5. All right, now we money. Let's add 6 to both sides. Boom, boom. And we get 20x is equal to 11. Divide by 20. X is equal to 11 over 20. And I know, you know, sometimes you get a fraction in your final answer and it makes you think it's wrong. Like, oh, my answers are typically integers. Well, an answer can be a fraction. That answer is not wrong. That is right. This is how you do the problem. And I hope you are feeling better about fractions. The moral of this whole story, which I think is quite beautiful, is that if you don't like to deal with fractions, just blow them up. All right, I'll maybe do a few more of these in a different video. Take care.